Welcome to new user training for SharePoint dashboards. I'm Will Cooper. I'm the creator and lead developer for SharePoint dashboards. In this video, I'm going to teach you the basics so you can get started with SharePoint dashboards. Let's begin. I'm here at the homepage of SharePoint dashboards.com. And the first thing I need to do is go ahead and get logged in. So go ahead and click on the login button and you can use the login information that was provided to you when you signed up for your free account. So I'll click on light user login and you should take a look at this training that's on your landing page when you first log in. To do this training, you simply click on the green boxes and it walks you through the pattern of how to apply formatting templates. So this is an easy practice exercise you can do that'll help you understand the process of applying these templates. Once you've completed that, go ahead and head over to your SharePoint site and let's start at the home page of your SharePoint site. Click on the new dropdown and create a new list. I'm just gonna call my list training. You can select blank list, I'll type training, and click create. Okay, and there's my new list. And the first thing I wanna do in my new list is create a new field. I'm gonna do that by clicking on the gear, then click on list settings, and click on create column. I'm gonna create a field called form. I'm going to make that a calculated field type. And for the formula, you can do something simple. Just put equals and then inside of two double quotes, just type the word form. And I then will just click on the OK button, which will create my fields field. And then I'll go to training. And this is my uh, main list view. I'm going to drag over this form field in my list. I need at least one record just to get started. So I'll click on the new button. And for my practice record, I'll just say Apple's project and save. I'm ready to apply my first template. And the first one I will show you is the one I use more than any other template. And that is the edit button. So go ahead and select that option in your SharePoint dashboard site. And when you get there, you can look at some different themes to get ideas of what you think might look nice. I'm simply going to use the default theme one, and I'm ready to go. I simply click on copy template. You can follow the directions in the box, and then I can switch over to my SharePoint site, click on the column header, then column settings, format this column, then click on advanced mode, select all and paste. Then click save and there is your edit button. As you would expect, if I click on this, it simply opens the edit form in the side panel. And already we've applied our first template. Now for the next one, we're going to do a Yes, no field. I'm going to do that from the list view. I'm going to click on add column, select yes, no, click next, and you can call this active. I want its default value to be no. I will click save. And now we're ready to apply another template. The template we're going to use is called toggle. So if I scroll through here, you're going to see under these 21 free templates, there is an option for the toggle. So just scroll through there and select input toggle. And you can see a preview of what this is going to be like in SharePoint. As with the last template, you can browse through some different themes or change the colors you want. I'm going to stick with the theme one option. This template does require that I enter the name of the field. I called my field active, so I just need to type that into the box. Then I can click the copy template button 
switch back over to SharePoint, and I can go ahead and go to the column header, column settings, format this column, advanced mode, select all, paste, and save. And there is my yes, no toggle button. And I can click on that directly from the list view. Okay, we're going to apply a third template. This third template will allow for inline edit mode for a field. This is similar to the grid view edit, which is available in SharePoint, but this will do this for a single field. So I'm gonna go back to SharePoint dashboards and I'm gonna go to the inline edit field option, which is right here. And it shows me a preview of what this works and what it looks like. Note there's an option here we can make it where it only does inline edit mode for admins and you give some email addresses. That's an advanced configuration. In our case, we're just gonna make it editable for all users. I wanted to have a green box around it when I hover. We're applying it to the title field, which is a text field type, so that default setting will work fine. And I'm ready to apply the template. So I'm gonna copy, go over to SharePoint. I'm gonna to go to the column header for title, column settings, format this column, advanced mode, select all, paste, and save. And now when I hover over that column, you can see that it is selectable and I can update my SharePoint record. There we go, now that's been updated. We're gonna do one more template, which is a view template. In order to get ready for that, I'm gonna add some more dummy records. So I'll go into grid view edit, and let's add records so we have five dummy records. So I'll do bananas project, Cherries project, donuts project, and eggplant project. I always like to do food when I'm doing dummy records. Okay, and then I can click exit grid view. The last template we're gonna do is a view template. Everything we've done to this point is applying column templates. So this is the Last option, which appears under the 21 free templates, this is called Rows Custom Formatting. And when you get to this screen, as with the other ones, you can browse uh, some of the different options that are available. And I don't need to enter anything to get this template applied. I'm gonna stick with the theme one option. I will click on Copy Template. I'm gonna be following the directions in the pop-up window, then head over to SharePoint, and in this case, instead of going to the column header, I'm going to the view selector, then select format current view, advanced mode, select all, paste, and save. And now you can change, you can see that it changed the look and feel of my list view and SharePoint. And that is specific just to this view. Notice that if I select a record, it's yellow, just as demonstrated um, in the template on this screen. So you can get this set up to look however you want. You can do things like adjust the border styles if you wanna go something different there, uh, or you can even omit the border lines if you want to. So there's different options which you can tweak. You can adjust the font size, a lot of different things like that. So that was it, you've completed new user training. Now you know how to use these templates. The best thing you can do is to practice. Try learning how to use each of those 21 templates, which are unlimited. You can use those as much as you want. At the SharePoint dashboard site, there are hundreds of options of different templates that you can use, which are included as part of a subscription. And I hope you'll browse through those in the gallery. And I hope that you find this useful and that you can start applying these templates and improving the interface for your users in SharePoint. Good luck.